As requested, this is the part two of the hashtag AMVCA9 2023 AMVCA fashion roast. Yo, I mentioned in the part one video that I wasn't feeling too good and I still am not feeling so well. I'm just trying to take it easy, hence the different layout of this video. Even if I can't show my face, I'm still going to give you all the content you signed up for. Alrighty? Yes. <laughs> We're going to be talking about more guests that showed up to the AMVCA9 black carpet. If you watched the last video, you can recall that I mentioned there was no theme. But I got two comments of people saying the theme was black mermaid and the next person said the theme was glitz and glam i'm here to confirm both yeah we're just going to go with the flow as we did with the first one. First person on my list is toke makiwa bringing the bridgetin era in a chrome blue princess ball dress by kud collection styled by swanky jerry in this textured double layered ball dress the bottom layer is plicated while the top layer cascades from the bodies in a high low manner from the side the dress has a very interesting neckline pattern. Low V shaped bustier with off shoulder sleeves. Off shoulder sleeves have corsages for extra details and on the bodies some appliques. This fabric I believe is taffeta, um, hence the structure and stiffness. The statement diamond necklace and studs were the cherry on top if you ask me. Low bond with loose tendrils on the side for hair, done by Roy Samuel and nude makeup by Belly Signature. Um, I think she brought it with this look. It feels nice to see Tokia in something different, something modest and uh, this looks very elegant and grownish. For that I'm going to rate her an 8.5 out of 10 yes blind the haters is the best way to describe osasi's look let me just take the next few seconds to give vicky james her flowers because this dress is beautiful that lady and her team are super talented individuals top tier like she, she's so good this gold floor length number with detachable full floor sweeping train <laughs> do you know that each floral pattern was hand stitched i was blown away when i found that i can only wonder how many hours or days it took for them to execute this the bodice is a corset cap sleeves with skin tone mesh low neckline with the right amount of sexiness just the right amount osasi's body is a 10 so the fit just has to be the same i mean I wasn't expecting anything less. Honey blonde finger waves upon the hair by Touch the Central. Doreen Beauty for makeup. Gorgeous, gorgeous look. A tad bit generic in terms of style with the skirt and corset thing going on, but it's still very beautiful. I'm going to rate her an 8.5 out of 10 as well. Our Akanchawa body, <laughs> Lilia Fair, in this sophisticated and evergreen look by erica moore brand i call it evergreen because you can wear this look over and over again and it will still make a statement styled by swanky jerry this look proves that shine shine is not the only way to make it on the red carpets please take notes <laughs> i will call this a modest look with a twist cut out details covered with skin to mesh fabric it looks like her skin is out but it isn't if you come closer you notice that it was covered with the skin tone mesh talk about the perfect sink in terms of colors long flutter sleeves padded shoulders high neck straight cut with minimal train fabric is a mix of lace and velvet her body do fire her half done half down updo and smoked out makeup looks really nice i'm intrigued with how simple and chic this um look is if less is more was a person, it would be Lily Affair in this outfit. 8 out of 10 from me. The fourth person in this fashion rose is Gretchen Goddess Aduni looking crisp in Donamoto She Official. That was a mouthful. <laughs> the satin floor length dress with slit in front draped nicely on her body. Mismatched sleeves, queen and neckline, blinged out appliques on one sleeve and the side of the dress. Crisscross details for a back showing moment, which I love. The pigtail braids by hair by Anisha further amplified the Gretchen look. Cat eye smoky look and red lippy done by Dior's Classics is really pretty. She kept things minimal for jewelry with this teardrop pearl necklace and matching earrings silver bracelets and ring amina muadi pumps and self-portrait handheld purse in blue for the perfect contrast and pop that this outfit needed 
outstanding look, subtle and very cute. I'm going to rate Aduni a 7.5 out of 10 for this. Oh. Arafa, in only God knows what this is. White puff sleeve, floor length, belted kimono with gold trimmings on the neck and waistline. Underneath you have this high neck gold neck dress with her nude undergarments in full glare. Footwear is a gold block heel sandals, chunky hoops, gold bangle and oversized ring for jewelry. Gold clutch for handbag. Hair of choice is this waist length body wave option. She looks rushed. She looks like she didn't have a team. One thing people need to understand is that being in the limelight is no easy fit. So if you feel like you want to delve into it, please do well to invest all the resources required. This look is a total no. Just going to rate her a 3 out of 10. Best dress meal at the AMVCA 2023 black carpet. And Yolua is the sixth person in this fashion rose. Looking like magic in orange culture. Emmanuel Good News styled the heaven out of this look. Not the hello. <laughs> The details are insane. I am 100% pro win for the best dressed award. Fully beaded bonds orange blazer paired with brown pants with beaded border on one side. You can't hate this look at all. For me, this is statement at its finest. Underneath is a satin pussy bow shirt just to soften things up. Coffee brown corporate shoes, silver jewelry and his current signature hairdo. Those gave the perfect accessorizing for this look. I am going to rate any a 9 out of 10 for this. Number 7, Cisco. <laughs> Cisco in the building. Sorry, Stan is there. He gave an all white ensemble styled by coach house in this three-piece suit complete with bow tie plain button-up shirt plain waistcoat plain pants and jacket with bejeweled appliques on the shoulder and lapel i can't really fault this look it looks nice but this boot by band's foot just has to go it has to go man black lace-up shoes would have done way more better i understand the matchy matchy and monochromatic thing going on but it looks flat and it's in dire need of contrast so for that i am going to rate him a 7.5 out of 10. this suit doesn't look bad at all very red carpet appropriate i love the bejeweled accessorizing but in terms of accessorizing a few tweaks just has to be made that is with this shoe so a 7.5 from me man of the hour is the eighth person on my list toby bakre in this outfit by samuel cray very bright and distinct i like pink satin jacket with black border white button up shirt with a disparity on the buttons to match with the black bow tie and pants black and white ruffled pocket square was an added accessory that looks good footwear of choice is this patent leather lace-up shoe he looks very dapper he looks very clean i'm going to rate Toby an 8.5 out of 10 for this Number nine, Messi Lambo. Messi, just have Messi on us now, please. <laughs> Extra bright Lagos literally drenched Mercy in eyes with this look, and Swanky Jerry was sure to implement the styling so perfectly. Sky blue floor dress with a tie high slit, super detailed top area. It has this structured bejeweled cape, I would call it, yeah. Super low sweetheart neckline, dramatic hairstyle with the baby hair party in front <laughs> she has on matching scarf and gloves this look is avant-garde and it's the perfect balance i would say between art and costume just in the middle an extravagant fashion moment i'm here for this i'm going to rate mercy a 9 out of 10 for this look she brought it red carpet appropriate like she wanted to be the moment and the moment she was <laughs> the 10th person on my list is kana aga jr in visible proof i have a love hate relationship with this look i'll tell you why i love the play with fabrics and um, colors actually the plane and pattern is the perfect fit the fabric has an antique connotation which i love the velvet is unique and nice looking as well. Moving over to the things I hate. Number one, will his hands always be in this position just to keep the draping perfectly placed? I don't understand that. Number two, why the matchy matchy velvet shoes? It doesn't only look a mess. It also looks very, very cheap. It looks like a house slipper. It doesn't look nice at all. I understand how creativity can make you go overboard sometimes. That's why designers need to know when to stop 
to be honest i wish this fabric was less tough so it would have been very fluid and soft in terms of how it dripped this kind of looks like um a bed sheet on him like he just threw they just threw bed sheet on him in terms of rating a six out of ten is very appropriate for this look i like the creativity behind it like i mentioned but it's just a lot going on and yeah six out of ten is ideal from me the met is shaking right now because of sandra Essien in this camilla overload outfit she looks like you know those cake toppers when they are doing a uh, princess cake the velvet top with gloves is what coco chanel was referring to when she said before you leave the house look in the mirror and take out one thing because the, it just trashed the whole look i don't understand it lacks balance the strapless corset a b jumpsuits was statement enough these pearl bangles are just adding salt to injury in my opinion it's just a lot going on the choker is nice makeup by Cassie's glam gave everything posh class ate the finger waves hairstyle even though i think a low bun side swoop hairstyle would have worked better that's just my take though um i'm going to rate her a 7.5 out of 10 too much ingredients they spoil soup and that is what this look is go big or go home can be very tricky to pull off sometimes if not done right it can be a disaster so i feel like yeah that's the case with this look for me she gets a 7.5 out of 10. number 12 there was a war with words regarding beauty's look and the fact that she won best dressed in the female category at the 2023 amvcas you all have to realize that there were rules that had to be followed. Number one being arriving at the allocated time frame, right? And voting from the viewers. So if your fave was the best dress, but they didn't follow the rules that is coming on time, it doesn't count. The only power we the viewers have to determine who wins best dress is to vote for your fave. So did you vote for your fave? It's not by coming online to say, ah, she should have won. This person should have won. There were rules to be followed, like I mentioned. So with that out of the way, this steel green dress with strings of beads and emerald green stones looks fabulous on beauty. Bottle neck, sleeveless floor length with a very interesting bottom area that mimics fish scales and fins, I would say, which makes a lot of sense now because I heard, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, that the theme was Black Mermaid. Still yet to confirm that anywhere else, but if that was the case, then I would say beauty was on theme right hair by posh class did her thing with this um center part low bone frontal look oh natural makeup <laughs> by makeup queen is seven if truly the theme was black mermaid beauty was one of the very few that understood the memo and she looked good i'm going to rate her an 8.5 out of 10 gorgeous number 13 if i am michael in rogue ng this is giving me aquaraqua vibes like obioma taylor so so that type of join join sewing <laughs> the hem of the black velvet and gold applique splattered blazer is off i love the satin pussy bow blouse underneath though amazing idea i would say but execution is lagging behind what are those gold shoes doing there why is it to match with the jacket i, uh, I mean mm -mm, mm -mm. for this i am going to rate him a 5 out of 10 actually a 5 out of 10 yes when i saw bella's look i just muttered to myself ah so tiana can come up with something so elegant but then i went on twitter and realized that it's um a kiko jabotan copy and paste creation this one is higher than inspiration it's full-on photocopy that she somehow forgot to ask the designer <laughs> on Bella's frame and complexion, this is perfect. The softness and fluidity of the satin fabric is lovely as well. I love the crisscross details on both sides. It adds the right amount of sexy. It's giving modern day Egyptian goddess. The chunky chandelier earrings, gold belly there sandals, her hair swooped to the back, brown smoky makeup, everything looks so amazing. And this look deserves a solid 8.5 out of 10. She looks so, so, so gorgeous. Bimbo Ademoye, our winner, <laughs> in a lemon green extra bright Lagos fit snatched to infinity even though she has a tiny waist the nude contrast on both sides of the dress gave the illusion of an even tinier waist the details include off shoulder string beads skin tone mesh stones and these green things that are reminiscent of sprouting leaves i'm not so wild by this look but it looks good on her 
I don't know what the situation is. I'm guessing it has to do with the colors and those sprouting leaves on the train. I don't think the train is... It doesn't sink well. It looks very out of place in my opinion. It reminds me of this football kick. Do the grasses with Aiden Strika. That's what the sprouts, leaves or whatever that is reminds me of. Um, hair, makeup and jewelry are a 10 for me. But the dress is an 8. It only looked this good because of Bimbo's body. Not the outfit itself. And I'm just keeping it 100 here. I'm going to rate her an 8 out of 10. Congratulations on your win baby girl. The 16th and final person in this fashion rose. Giving menswear a refined and detailed outlook in Maya Tafo is Dakore. Rhinestone velvet suit set with sheer bishop neck button-up shirt underneath, all in black. The red bottom loops is the icing on this cake of a look. I love the satin lapel introduction. That brooch is very unnecessary though. I don't see the reason why it was there. Silver chandelier earrings are cute. Rings as well. Glam by Temi for sure sealed the look, especially with the red lippy. Sleek straight waist length hair is giving. I am a huge fan of this look. I'm going to rate her an 8 out of 10 for this right. moving over to the best and worst dress both categories you all know how we do it best dress female in the part two of the amvca fashion rules i would definitely have to go with the affair in erica moore brand this look is so sophisticated this is the definition of less being more she looked very confident she looked stunning her body was it was as if the dress was molded on her body it looked so 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 beautiful best dress meal any without a doubt in orange culture love the look love the play with colors love the hand beating it was just a moment for me and i really 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 stand that look what dress female no need to even think twice arafa definitely what was that mess going on it was just a lot of pieces together that did not just make any sense it was very absurd to look at even at I, i'm not here for that okay what dress meal i would go with if i michael not the worst look so far there was one guy but i couldn't get his name i will leave a video of him on the screen he wore one ankara thing like that that's actually my worst dress meal but because i don't have his name i don't have his details or anything i'm just going to go with if i ain't. so this is almost like stray bullets <laughs> Yeah, not like his look is the worst but then again it's not the best it just looks rushed it looks very ill-fitting on him and um yeah he has got to be my worst dress meal with that the second and last part of the hashtag amvca9 aka amvca 2023 is complete anyone that asks for a part three just know that me and you will fight give me location and time i will come there armed i'm ready to fight you <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for pushing me. I'm really grateful. Like We have a very strong and very nice community here. Somebody literally gave me names of people to go and research, which was very sweet. Thank you for that. I also see that we have new family members. I'm so glad to have you all here. Just sit pretty and enjoy the ride that is Chantel Ayao. I'll see you all tomorrow at 4 p.m. when I have a special video in collaboration with YouTube dropping. That's in celebration of Africa Day. Thank you so much for watching. Lots of hugs and kisses from me. I'm getting better. No need to worry. I'll see y'all in my next one. I'm out. Bye, y'all.